my praise. But praise is by no means your victory. After all we've done, it doesn't look like we're even facing her. I knew it would force us to use the sword. Nepgear, use the sword! All right! That... sword... This blade will put an end to your wicked scheme! <laughs> I see! So you have forged that blade using the blood of the other CPUs. As if that matters to you! You killed them all. Your friends. Your family. You are all alone in the world. Yes, that's right. Everyone is gone except for me. That's precisely why I can't lose! Fascinating. Such an amusing world. Come, show me how strong a sword bathed in the CPU's blood is. Gladly! Wonderful. The power you have put into the sword is enough to end even my life. Victory is yours, CPU. Huh? But why? Why didn't you resist me? There is no longer a need for me to remain here and destroy this world. For you see, the world is already spiraling toward oblivion. No, it isn't! This world will be safe as long as you aren't in it! Of course. A world under the rule of a single entity will surely brim with peace and prosperity. Indeed, a world without strife. A world that knows only peace. And what's wrong with that? Is there something wrong with a peaceful world? Without strife, without conflict, without competition, nothing will advance. Nothing will evolve. The people will become complacent and live their lives in peace. The world will stagnate and rot. I won't let that happen. As long as I'm the CPU of game industry, it won't happen! The CPU of game industry, hmm? <laughs> and what of 100 years from now? What of 1,000 years from now? <laughs> I am limited by neither time nor a physical form. I can wait until this world rots away. She's disappeared. Hey! We did it! We won! We beat the baddie and saved the world, right? Right? What a relief. Nep Nep and the other CPUs can rest in peace now. Are the deity of sin's words bugging you, new? Um, no, they aren't, but... They are. She was trying to mess with your resolve, Gear. Let's go. We have to let the world know what happened. Yes, you're right. Ten days have passed since we defeated the deity of sin. Nepgear, are you ready? Yes, I am. But I the choice. I would have allowed you to rest for longer. I understand. There isn't time. With the CPUs and the Deity of Sin gone, the world is in chaos. It's up to me to create a new world order. Right. Until the people know that you're here watching over them, there's no way to control them. You actually came, Kay? The nation I worked for is no more. Had I not come, your commemoration would lack any sense of flair, no? And the other oracles? Louise Oracle asked for more time. Leanbox's Oracle seemed delusional, outright denying all that occurred. I see. Still, they know the truth, but the public doesn't. That ignorance will help them to embrace you right away. But from your perspective, I suppose you will have to live with knowing that you're deceiving your people. Mind your tongue! No, she's right. Kay, thank you for coming all this way to attend. As a mediator between you and the public, I look forward to seeing the world you intend to create. Game Industry, a land once divided into four nations, is now united as one under Planetune's flag. 
Now I must be the one to lead the world as its sole CPU, and travel to the Lost Nations and restore order. Oh, there you are. Glad we made it in time. IF, both you and Kampa came? Yep, yep. There's no telling when we'll see you again, so we had to make it. Then, you're both leaving me? I haven't been a very good nurse lately, so I need to get back to the hospital and actually work. Red, Broccoli, and 5PB have all gone home. We'd rather not overstay our welcomes either. I guess that makes sense. I'm really going to miss you. Come on, stop pouting. Uh-huh, time to grow up. You're a full-fledged CPU now. It's not like we'll never see each other again. Yeah, you're right. Sorry for worrying you both. Okay, I'm out of here. Do your best, all right? There they go. Now I really am all alone. Yeah, I really don't think that was a good thing for them to do. After all that happened, they just leave her on her own. The people of game industry still face many problems that need to be addressed. First, the fact that the CPUs who returned after a long absence suddenly vanished again. Second, the fact that their nations no longer exist. Finally, the fact that some are still complaining about the dissolution of ASIC. Of course. A world under the rule of a single entity will surely brim with peace and prosperity. Indeed, a world without strife. A world that knows only peace. I need to bring peace to the people of this world. And I need to do it alone. That's the path I've chosen to walk. But even now, the deity of sin's parting words linger in the back of my mind. Without strife, without conflict, without competition, nothing will advance. Nothing will evolve. The people will become complacent and live their lives in peace. The world will stagnate and rot. I absolutely will not let that happen. I swear on my life. Still, what if... What if she was speaking the truth? What if the path I've chosen isn't the correct one? More and more, these doubts consume my every waking thought. Dictate my every action. And will inevitably lead to the world's end. Well... There we go. We've done the conquest ending. There is one happy thing about all this. We've done it. We're out the way. We've got past it. We can move on to the Holy Sword ending. Which is basically the true ending reworked into the conquest ending story. That's basically all it is. But at least it's, it's better than what we just saw. I mean, yay, we get an 8-bit ending, but still... That ending is just, it's still so painful. It's still so painful. It's just, why? That's all I have to ask every time is, why did they add that ending in this super happy fun time game? I don't know. I don't know. But like I said, coming up next, we'll be doing the Holy Sword route. We'll be starting just after we've fought Uni and Noir. And it should change pretty quickly pretty quickly. It still involves the sword that we got. All the scenes before that, pretty much the same. And obviously, yes, I know several of you will be thinking this. It was not intentional for this to be released on this day. I didn't intend that to happen. It's purely coincidence, but I may as well say it. Happy Christmas. And since it's Christmas, what I'm going to do, instead of reload the save like I planned, I'm going to go through the game again several times so I can get the Lily ranks up, plus also get enough megabytes for some of the characters we need to unlock later on. Yeah, I think that's a good way to do it. So, we'll see you in the next part. Bye-bye for now.